for one of my concepts it was evaporation so i'm gonna do a demonstration on evaporation so first i'm gonna fill up the cup with cold water and then i'm gonna take a sharpie and mark where it is at before i boil it So the next step is to pour the water in the pot. And let it boil. So once it starts boiling, I'm gonna let it boil for uh, about 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna turn it off, let the water cool before I pour it back in the cup. And then we're gonna measure, measure where the water is at after. So as you can see, the water is starting to boil and I just had to set the timer for eight minutes instead. Ah, eight minutes instead. So I'm just gonna let it boil and we'll see what happens. So this has been boiled for eight minutes. So I'm gonna let it cool for five minutes before I pour it back in the cup. So it's been five minutes since I let the water cool down. So we're gonna pour the water back into this cup and mark where it is okay as you can tell the before and after um there was a huge amount of water loss due to evaporation and once the water started boiling in the pot, the heat energy was transferred to the water molecule, which these molecules uh, move faster than average and it eventually break free and turn into the gas state, which is evaporation. And this is why the water is less than before. <laughs>